Hello everyone. Have you ever felt like your dreams are too big to achieve? That's exactly what I was told when I failed to secure a spot in an MBBS program in Pakistan. But let me tell you, I didn't let that failure define me. Instead, I used it as a fuel to chase my dream of becoming a medical doctor. And the best part, I didn't just make it happen, but I also landed a spot in one of the most prestigious medical schools in Europe, the Milan University. Now I bet you are wondering how I made it happen, right? Well, let me take you on a journey through my struggles, my challenges and my success. Get ready to be inspired. I remember the day when I received my acceptance letter from Milan University. I was overwhelmed with joy and gratitude, but it wasn't easy journey to get to that point. Let me take you back to my secondary education in Pakistan. As a young student, I was determined to excel in my studies. I worked hard and focused on my goals which resulted in achieving outstanding grades in my matric exams. I was also awarded with a cash prize of 25000 rupees by the government of Pakistan. It was a proud moment for me and my family as I had surpassed their expectations. Moving on to my high school years, I chose to pursue a pre-medical track which was a challenging and demanding curriculum. I spent countless hours studying, attending classes and preparing for the exam. but my hard work paid off as i achieved good grades in my fsc pre-medical exams my journey to study at milan university as a medical student was not something that i had dreamed of since childhood my journey began when i finished my secondary education in pakistan where i achieved remarkable results in my matric and fsc pre-medical examinations despite my good performance my aggregate was not enough to get into mbbs program in pakistan Instead I was selected to pursue BDS however that was not my goal and I refused to give up on my dreams Although I was well prepared for the MCAT exam I was disappointed to find out that my scores were not enough to secure a place in reputable medical colleges in Pakistan This setback led me to explore other options eventually I came across the opportunity to study abroad and finally decided on studying in Italy That year I joined an online course at Harvard Medical College called Fundamentals of Medicine. It was an incredible experience that taught me a lot about the field and inspired me to continue pursuing my passion. However, the journey to get into Milan University as a non-EU student was still a daunting task. I had to go through rigorous admission process which included taking the IMAT exam. It was a challenging experience as the exam tested not only my knowledge but also my ability to think critically. Studying in Italy as a non-EU was not easy. I had to prepare for two entrance exams, IMAT which is an international medical admission test and IELTS which is international English language test. I knew that I needed to perform exceptionally well on both these tests to get into Milan University. So I began my preparation for both these tests simultaneously. My IELTS experience was not an easy one. Despite being fluent in English, I still had to go through rigorous practice sessions and training to master the nuances of the exam. I enrolled in a course and dedicated several hours each day to improve my language skills. Scoring a 7 band in IELTS was a significant achievement for me because it was an easy for me to score 7 while preparing for the IMAT as well but it was definitely worth it I had to put countless hours for practice work on my vocabulary and improve my writing skills I utilized different resources such as online practice test and study materials and also took guidance from my mentors I practiced my listening and speaking skills by watching English movies and TV shows, practicing in group discussions and engaging conversation with the native English speakers. I also read extensively to enhance my reading skills which helped me to comprehend academic text more effectively. 
Additionally, I paid attention to my grammar, sentence structure, and spelling, which are essential components of the writing section. With consistent effort and dedication, I was able to achieve a score of 7 bands, which helped me to pursue my dream of studying in Milan. The AMR exam was also a challenge. I knew that the competition would be tough and I had to give my best shot. Scoring 62 points in IMAT required a lot of hard work and dedication. As an international student from Pakistan, I knew that I had to put in extra efforts to compete with the students from all over the world. Firstly, I made sure to familiarize myself with the exam format and content. I researched extensively on the AMAT exam and practiced solving sample papers and mock tests. This helped me to get an idea of the type of questions that would be asked and the time management skills required to complete the exam. Next, I worked on improving my problem solving skills, logical reasoning and critical thinking. I enrolled in various online courses, but of course there were challenges along the way. Being a non-EU student, I faced difficulties in finding suitable resources and guidance for the AMET exam. I had to put in extra efforts and find study materials and attend online coaching classes. Moreover, there were times when I felt discouraged and doubted my abilities. However, I kept reminding myself of my goals and continued to work hard towards it. The day of exam was nerve-wracking, but I stayed focused and confident throughout. When the results came out, I was thrilled to see that I had scored 62 points out of 90, which was a remarkable achievement. I knew then that I was one step closer to achieving my dream of studying at Milan University. In the end, all my hard work paid off and score of 62 points in IMAT was above the average score and met the cutoff for admission to Milan University. However, the journey didn't end here. As a non-EU student, I had to go through a lengthy visa application process and complete other requirements to secure my place at the university. But I preserved and with the help of my family and mentors, I was able to overcome every hurdle that came my way. Today, as a proud medical student at Milan University, I look back at my journey with gratitude and appreciation for all the challenges that I faced. My success story is not just about achieving my dream, but also about the determination and perseverance that I had to cultivate within myself to get there. If I can achieve my dreams as a non-EU student from Pakistan, then so can you. If you are someone who has faced setbacks in their journey, remember that it's never too late to pursue your passion. I want to encourage all the aspiring medical students out there to work hard, stay focused and never give up and keep pushing yourself towards your dreams. Who knows, you might just surprise yourself and achieve what you once thought was impossible. With dedication, hard work and the right mindset, anything is possible.